Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Red Donkey Projections. Today, we'll be taking a look at the Republicans' best case scenario in the 2020 Senate election. I'm Lucas, I have Eric here with me. Hey guys. Let's get right into it. So let's start by um, marking all the safe seats. For the Republicans, they'll have Idaho, Wyoming, South Dakota, Nebraska. Um, the South, essentially. Yep. All right, and K- Kentucky is currently held by Mitch McConnell. The majority um, leader? Yes, or usually it's likely, but um, in best case scenario, it is going to be solid. Yeah. Virginia and... Alaska. All right. Now the Democrats safe seats. Oregon, Oregon Minnesota, Minnesota, Illinois. Uh, yes, Illinois. Dick and Durbin's the East. Name. Yes, and the East. Virginia. Um, and I believe I hit all of them, I think. Oh, I forgot Texas. All right, so yeah, usually this is a likely for the Republicans, but in the best case scenario, it will be solid, and I missed New Mexico too. Now I think that's it. Let's start discussing. All right. Let's start with um, Montana. Montana is now a uh, swing state in the um, Senate election. We put the state as a pure toss-up, I believe, if I remember correctly, but in the Republicans' best case scenario, if they're able to push out all the funding, fundraising, and um, advertising or campaigning, I think that the state will go to the Republicans in a lean, lean margin. Would you agree with that? Yeah, I agree. Now let's head to the state of Alabama. Alabama, I think we put as lean Republican. The incumbent is Doug Jones. However, in the best case scenario, I'm going to be quite frank here. Um, best case scenario, Doug Jones has no chance of winning. I yeah. see it 100% going to the Republicans, should this be their best case scenario, considering that it's either going to be Jeff Sessions, the former attorney general, has that name recognition there, or Tommy Tuberville, who was endorsed by the president. Mm-hmm. Now to the state of Iowa. Iowa, I do remember seeing it being pretty close. I believe we put it as lean. I actually don't remember, but I think it was lean in our regular election thing. Best case scenario, likely. Likely to the Republicans. Mm, now, yeah. Eric, will be discussing Arizona. Um, so Arizona, we have uh, Mark Kelly versus Martha McSally. So if we were talking about best case scenario for the Republicans, um, I think I will put this as a lean Republican. Yeah, and I would as agree. As McSally seat. Yes, because this is an incumbent. This is Martha McSally. Um, yes, she did lose in 2018. Yes, she is going to get that unfavorable favorable, um, name recognition. But best case scenario, um, lean. Now to the state of Colorado, we have um, current governor, John, uh, former governor, John Hickenlooper, who is going up against um, Cory Gardner, the incumbent. Um, in our regular projections, we put this as lean Democratic. Um, you know, I initially put this as lean Republican, the best case scenario, but now that I'm thinking about it, I think I'm going to put it as tilt Republican. And the reason is because Um, John Hickenlooper does have that name recognition. He was the governor, and if I remember correctly, he was relatively popular. Yeah. And for that reason, I think the margin does narrow to a tilt in a best-case scenario. Yeah, I agree. Um, Should we head to Maine? Eric Eric will be discussing Maine. All right, so we have incumbent Susan Collins versus... um, her opponent, and I'm blanking on her name. Uh, Sarah Gideon. Sarah, she, Sarah Gideon. Yes, she was the That's former right. Speaker of the House in Maine. Mm-hmm. 
So um, I think that this is going to be probably a lean Republican margin because, once again, although Susan Collins is one of the most unpopular politicians in America, this is the best case scenario for the Republicans, and she's held that seat for a fairly long time. And that, yeah, I do agree with that. He, she's actually pretty senior in the Senate. And um, she, yes, she's disapproved of, but you have to take into account, one, her incumbency advantage, and she did win pretty decisively in the last election cycle, which was in 2014. So I agree with the lean margin. Now to the state of Kansas. Kansas is between um, former Secretary of State of Kansas, Chris Kobach, versus um, Laura Kelly. And regular predictions, I think this was either a lean Republican or a pure toss-up. I don't remember correctly what it was. But um, in a best-case scenario, and if people can forget the baggage that Chris Kobach left while he was the uh, Secretary of State, I do think that this will be a likely, a likely seat for the Republicans, because this is Kansas. This is an extremely red state, and for that reason, likely. Now to the state of New, uh, North Carolina. North Carolina, this seat is currently held by Tom Tillis, who will be going against Cunningham. Uh, recent polls show that Cunningham is up by nine points. Around there, I don't remember the exact number, but about nine seven eight somewhere there um you know but we do have to take into account tillis is the incumbent um for that reason i think i'd give this one a tilt republican as well i think in our regular projections we put this as toss-up but if the republicans are pouring in that money for tom tillis they should have a slight edge over cunningham Mm. all right uh michigan yep let's head to michigan all right um this is presumably going to be the republican candidate john james who ran in 2018 um he gained a lot of attention but from republicans and as a rising star um people are going to remember john james's name and I, it's highly likely that they're going to go there and vote for him and for that reason, I think that in their best case scenario, I'd actually put this one as a toss up. Um, really? I, I think we put this as lean D before, but Michigan, we still have to remember, yes, Donald Trump carried it in 2016, but that was pretty much only because Hillary Clinton didn't campaign there at all. Um, mm -hmm. So thinking about that, we still have to remember that Michigan's pretty democratic. And for that reason, I put it as toss up. Um, I was going to put it as tilt R before, but after thinking about it, you got to remember this is Michigan. There's many African-Americans there. I think that um, tilt R would be the correct categorization. All right. That's very interesting stance. Now let's head to our final seat. Special um, election in Georgia. Yes. Um, if you guys remember, this is currently Kelly Loeffler's seat, who recently had a scandal. Um, you know, I think in the Republicans' best case scenario is that Kelly Loeffler doesn't win because of that, you know, tainted reputation. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not sure if Eric agrees with me on this, but I do think Georgia Special will go in a likely to, um, likely to the Republicans. And the reason is because in the best case scenario, Kelly Loeffler doesn't um, run. I mean, sorry, doesn't win the primaries. And in that scenario, it's pretty likely that they that the person who wins does become the senator. I think likely. All right. Would you agree with that? Yeah, I agree with that. All right. Well, that's the end of this video. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you um, like the video, please hit the like button. If you like our content, please hit the subscribe button. We'll see you in our next video. See ya.